Hello, in this tutorial we'll be installing JDK and uh, Eclipse. JDK is a prerequisite for Eclipse, so we'll see how to install JDK and then we'll install the latest Eclipse version. Here I will say download JDK and then it uh, the first website is Java SC downloads. Click on it. I have an option Java platform JDK 7 is the version. I'll click download. So it downloads the version. Before that I need to accept the license agreement and then based on your operating system select the appropriate one. Mine is Windows 64. Okay, after the .exe has been downloaded, open. You will see Java installing. You get the Java FX also is included in this package but it's your option whether you can or install. But for Eclipse, you don't need Java FX. You just need JDK. For 64 bit, even for 64 bit downloads in CK program files, Java JDK. Click next. So it's installing. So hold this installation, the download of JD, Java, uh, approximately 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your internet. The downloading itself will take some time and then the install uh, will take approximately 5 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes. You see install to next. Okay, now you see Java SDK update successfully. After you click close, uh, in your default explorer it will open the register your software it's your option you can or you cannot but for this tutorial uh, we'll just skip this part to verify the java version we'll be going to see program files in java you see jdk so now our jdk has been installed now we need to install eclipse to install eclipse you can search to you can go to eclipse.org slash downloads in downloads uh, over this is the home page in the home page you will find all the downloads and the information you can go to download and then click eclipse id for the java double e developers these are the different packages that are available the latest is you know uh, you can select any of these packages let me select indigo once you select you will find these different options i would be selecting eclipse id for the java double e developers and Windows 64 bit. These are the different operating systems available and depending on the bit. I would say Windows 64. So it will be directing me to the mirror selection. You can select this to install, to download the zip file or you can select any of these mirrors. There are so many other mirrors that are available to your uh, location. It's where you can download Eclipse from. To save the time I have already downloaded I'll go to downloads folder. I this is the zip file that has been downloaded from Eclipse website. Now what I need to do is this is not an installer. This is a WinZip file. This is a zip file. So you have you have WinZip software or WinRAR software. You can um, extract it. Or if you have a Windows 7 machine, usually has a WinZip uh, software that it holds itself. You can even extract it. I have extracted it. When you extract, you will see this folder. So this is the folder structure of Eclipse. Okay, to see, let's launch Eclipse. This is Eclipse Indigo. And this is the workspace. It default, it gives the user's AS, uh, users your username as a workspace for uh, Eclipse. You can even change this workspace by clicking on browse. Change any of this or make new folders and select OK. If you want it to be default every time you launch it and if you don't want the Eclipse to ask you, you can select this. But for me, I would not because I'll be keep changing the workspaces depending on my requirement. Like all my Neo 4J projects goes in work one workspace, all Java projects goes in one workspace. Okay, and then when you click OK. If you are uh, opening Eclipse uh, every time uh, using the workspace, you, the Eclipse will load the workbench. But if it's the first time, it will give the welcome page. So by using overview, samples, tutorials and what you, know, you can see, you can get some information or knowledge about Eclipse. Click on workbench. 
so this is how the eclipse ide looks like okay you have project explorer view marker snippets outline and task list okay to create a basic java program you can go to java double e this is a perspective when you click on this these are the different perspectives that are available for you to uh, select in eclipse uh, uh, let's just create a sample one right click new project java project first indigo and then everything is the default these are all the different java versions and then next and then this is the source projects library order and export different options that you can select and then click finish when you open any java projects or anything depending on the perspective it will change it this is the perspective right now i am in java double e but the project that i've created is a java project it's not a web dynamic project so i would say yes and you see the java pro perspective has been highlighted i hope this tutorial is helpful thank you